A line passes through the two points negative three comma five and one comma negative three. We want to determine the slope of any line parallel to the given line as well as the slope of any line perpendicular to the given line. Let's begin by determining the slope of the line passing through the given points. The slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, which we can determine using this formula here when given two points on the line. To keep things organized, let's set the first ordered pair be x sub one, comma, y sub one, and the second ordered pair be x sub two, comma, y sub two. Which means the slope of the line passing through the given two points is equal to the quantity y sub two minus y sub one, which is negative three minus five, divided by the quantity x sub two minus x sub one, which is one minus negative three. And now simplifying, negative three minus five is negative eight. We have negative eight divided by one minus negative three is the equivalent to one plus three, which is equal to positive four. And negative eight divided by positive four is equal to negative two. So the given line has a slope of negative two, and let's let this slope be equal to m sub one. And now for a quick review, if two lines are parallel, that means they never intersect, and therefore they have the same slope. And here's an example of two parallel lines that have the same slope of two thirds. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and form a 90 degree angle at right angle. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of one another, which means if one line has a slope of a over b, the second line must have a slope of negative b over a. To find the negative reciprocal of a fraction, we interchange the numerator and denominator and then change the sign. As an example, here we have two perpendicular lines. One has a slope of two thirds. The other has a slope of negative three halves. Two thirds and negative three halves are negative reciprocals of one another. So going back to our example, because the given line has a slope of negative two, any line parallel to the given line must also have a slope of negative two. The slope of any line perpendicular to the given line must have a slope that is a negative reciprocal of negative two. Let's write negative two as a fraction with a denominator of one, and therefore a line perpendicular to the given line must have a slope that's a negative reciprocal of negative two over one. To find the negative reciprocal, again, we interchange the numerator and denominator and then change the sign, or informally we can say we flip the fraction over and change the sign. Interchanging the numerator and denominator gives us one over two, and then the sign changes from negative to positive, and therefore the slope of any perpendicular line has a slope of positive one half. Let's go ahead and verify this graphically. The black line is the given line passing through the two given points that has a slope of negative two. The red line is just one example of a parallel line, and notice how the parallel line does have the same slope of negative two. The blue line is an example of a perpendicular line to the given line, meaning they intersect and form a right angle. And notice how the slope of the perpendicular line is equal to positive one half, which is the negative reciprocal of negative two. I hope you found this helpful.